What's up guys, this is Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com and today we're gonna to be talking about what is the brand new Adobe Lightroom Classic and Adobe Lightroom CC and what are their differences. So let's talk about what Lightroom used to be and what it is right now. So Lightroom used to be a number of different products. You had Lightroom 4, 5, and 6. These were standalone products. You would purchase it once and use it forever. Then what Lightroom did was they introduced Lightroom CC, Lightroom Creative Cloud, monthly subscription, about $10 a month, and you could basically get all of the updates forever, but it was still a program that lived on your computer. Now they also had Lightroom Mobile, which was basically a smaller application that worked on phones and tablets. So that's what it used to be. Take that idea, scrap it and throw it out of the door, because today everything has changed. They now have Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic CC. So we know what we had before and let's talk about what it is today. So starting off with Lightroom Classic CC. Basically, you had Lightroom 4, 5, and 6, Lightroom CC, and now that has become Lightroom Classic CC. It is the application that you use on your computer. You download it. You have to be part of the subscription though. You can no longer purchase it as a one-off product. So you'll be part of it about $10 a month. I would strongly recommend this option. You download it and you use it. Now basically it is what Lightroom CC was before or Lightroom 6. It's just a lot faster. I've tested it and it is a lot faster with a couple of extra features. But outside of that, there is no difference. It's exactly what we were waiting for. For years we've wanted a new faster Lightroom and they have delivered it today with Lightroom Classic CC. This is what I will be using. This is what I think is the best update. So that is Lightroom Classic CC. Now what is Lightroom CC? Well this is a brand new product that Lightroom have just launched. Now basically it is like Lightroom Classic but it's not an application that only runs on your desktop. Instead this application can run on your phone, your tablet, or your desktop. And all of your files are not stored locally, they're all stored in the cloud. So let's just break it down and think about the differences now. Lightroom CC is online. Everything is in the cloud and you can access the same files from phone, tablet, computer. Fantastic. Lightroom Classic CC is basically the application that you use on your computer and you access everything locally. But you cannot access that same catalog via your phone or tablet unless you use collections and that all got a little crazy with all of those things. So you might be thinking, well Lightroom CC is the way to go. Everything's in the cloud and it's all awesome. But let me just point out a few things. Lightroom CC is not got all the features that exist inside Classic. And I'm gonna talk through some of the differences that I have written down on this piece of paper. Now basically, a lot of things are the same, but it looks different as an application, but some things that are miss missing are photo merge, side-by-side -side comparison, um, a proper import and export. There's no printing, there's no maps, there's no faces, there's no history in your develop module. I also believe there's no tone curve correction and things like that. So a lot of things are not available yet. So if you wanna use any of those features, you're gonna to have to be with the Lightroom Classic for now. The CC, right, the one that's in the cloud is gonna cost you $10 for Lightroom and then for your first terabyte of storage is another $10. So you're trying to figure out what Lightroom does what, try and change the names slightly. They've called it Lightroom Classic CC and Lightroom CC. Instead, call it Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. Meaning Lightroom Classic is the classic version on your computer. Lightroom CC uses the cloud. That's the easiest way to understand this. Two different applications though. They are not the same. So let's just talk about a few other things while we're talking about this subject and my thoughts on this. I think that Lightroom CC, the cloud version, where it all gets stood up here, is a great idea and something that could be great in the future. But right now, today, isn't going to work. Because I run a photography company and we create anywhere from three to six terabytes a year, right? So if you imagine, even if you're a small professional photographer that only creates two terabytes a year, 
right? $10 for your first terabyte. They haven't announced how much the second terabyte is going to be, but that's probably another $10. And as you add up all of this, for example, right now, I have uh, 15 terabytes of storage from my company here. So if I wanted to use that on Creative Cloud, well, that's not going to work because it's going to cost me $150 every single month to rent that space from them. This is what I think has happened. Lightroom is wanting to get ahead of the game and say that they're going to do all of these things online, but they've launched a product before it's even ready. So I wouldn't use it. Maybe go on and have a play with a mobile version, maybe have a play with it all and see how it's going to work and watch it develop. But if you're serious about photography and you're serious about using Lightroom as your editor, stick with Lightroom Classic. It is going to deliver exactly what you need right now using the processes that we already know, but now it's faster and there's some extra features. Lightroom CC is something for the future. I just don't think they should have launched it today. And also, I think that they're going to really have to sort out this pricing for their storage. Maybe the first terabyte is $5 and after that it's a dollar a terabyte, then I'm in. Until that point, it's a waste of money. So I'm also going to be making two more videos, one about Lightroom CC and one about Lightroom Classic CC. So be sure to watch those to really see the differences and how each of them work. Thank you so much for watching. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tune. Boom.